my channel or hello if you're new. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some fit girl life hacks. These are gonna be hacks that will help you stay fit or it can even be hacks to start your fitness journey if that's something that you want to do. But I've been requested to do other fitness videos so I'm bringing this to you guys. I will leave my fit link if you get <laughs> leave my fitness playlist in the description box for you guys if you're interested in watching me 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 if you're interested in watching me if you're interested in watching my other fitness videos definitely go check them out I've done so many different types of fitness videos for you guys fitness videos are some of my favorite videos to film so I thought it was time for another I hope you guys enjoy it if you guys do want a part two let's thumbs this up and get it to 2,000 thumbs up and I will make sure to do a part two for you guys but that being said let's just get into the video the first hack is to drink a glass of lukewarm water with lemon. You can also add some cayenne pepper if you guys want, but you should do this first thing every single morning. Not only will it boost your immune system, but it also has detoxification properties as well. Lemon juice is also really good in aiding in digestion and also destroying bacteria and cleansing the system. So I always make sure to wake up every single morning and start my day off with it. Another hack to staying fit is to make sure you eat your breakfast right in the morning, at least within 30 minutes of waking up. I know a lot of people don't like eating breakfast, but studies show that breakfast does wonders to boosting your metabolism and that's what we want. So something I typically reach for is some oatmeal. And then of course I like to put some fresh fruit on top. And I just find this is really filling and it keeps me satisfied and it keeps me feeling like I'm full for longer throughout the day. My next hack is to always keep a packed gym bag in your car. That way that when you have the urge to work out, you'll have no excuses because you'll already have your gym clothes and your gym shoes. And this is actually really handy because sometimes I just feel like going to the gym, but I don't have my clothes. So if you just have an extra pair in your car, then you really have no other reason than to go. Now I'm going to show you some easy and some of my favorite exercises I like to do that target the stomach to get a flat stomach and focus on the abs. So the first one of course being a plank. I like to hold this even for as long as a song but start with 30 seconds then build up if you want to. And then we're going to be doing some leg raises so you're going to lie flat down and you're going to lift your legs and bring it down and this really targets the lower belly fat that a lot of us want to work on. And once you are done doing this you can alternate between legs which is also really good so I like to do about 20 each and then after that I go right into some bicycle kicks and you're just gonna pump it out for about 30 seconds and you're just gonna do all three of those exercises in a row and you will really feel a burn in the stomach area and then lastly I like to also go in with some mountain climbers so I like to do this for a minute take about 15 second break and then go back into it I just find it's really good for burning the belly fat Another really good exercise is the Russian twist and this really targets your obliques so you can use a weight and if you guys find it hard you guys can keep your feet on the ground but if you want more of a challenge I typically just raise my feet up while doing it and this just really targets the side so if you want to get rid of love handles and things like that as well. My next hack is to do weights before you do cardio. A lot of serious athletes and bodybuilders like to do this and the reason they do weights first is because this way your heart rate goes up when you lift and your body is more in a fat burning mode. If you do the opposite and you do cardio first, your muscles are already tired by the time you get to the weight training. The next hack is to gradually increase your weights. So it's said that you should be increasing your weights on each exercise by 5% each week. And this is just gonna basically give you the best muscle building results without straining your body. This next one might be a little bit weird to you guys, but it's actually super effective and it's called the stomach vacuum. You guys can search it up on Google, but it's actually said to help knock off inches on your waistline and it can knock up two to four inches as little as three weeks if you use this technique. So all you have to do to do it is stand upright and place your hands on your hips. Then you're gonna exhale all the air out of your lungs completely, expand your chest, and bring your stomach in as much as possible and you're gonna hold that. Hold it for about 30 seconds, I'd say, and then do one repetition. 
If you struggle with doing push-ups, a hack I have for you guys is to go against a surface. So I'm just using a bench, but push-ups are really good for you. But if you could do them, of course, you can do the regular push-ups. And like I said before, once you are done with weight training, you can move on to cardio if you'd like. And this is going to lead to the best results. This next hack is super random, but if you worked out too hard, a hack I have for you guys is to chow down on ginger. It's actually said that ginger can help reduce post-workout muscle soreness by 25%. And it's said to have inflammatory compounds and oils, and this has shown to have pain-killing and sedative effects in studies. Another hack is to have apple cider vinegar. You can either have a shot, but I recommend filling it up with water because it's easier to get down. But there's so many health benefits. One of the benefits being that it helps aid weight loss. Once you finish your workout, you should eat a snack immediately. It's actually said that your snack should be eaten 15 minutes after wrapping up your exercise routine and to have protein heavy snack. You should be having snacks high in protein because it not only heals the tiny muscle injuries, but it also helps you from being tempted to eat junk food later on. And the last one is to eat frequently. So keep your energy up and give your body plenty of fuel. It's actually said that for building muscles, you should be eating small meals every three hours or so. That is all for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you guys do want a part two and click that subscribe button because we're so close to 200,000 and make sure you guys join the Nicolette's Fam Jam because your girl uploads every other day here on my channel. But I also do have social media and sometimes I post about fitness. So if you guys do want to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, go join your girl over there. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day, evening, or night whenever you're watching this and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!